my name is Jonathan. Today I would like to share some information with you about thyroid function. Lately in the clinic, I found out a lot of my clients coming in with cold hand and feet. I think it happened to a lot of people. That could be you have thyroid problems. If you have thyroid function problems, people usually complain about cannot focus, a little depressed, muscle weakness, chronic fatigue, thyroid area half the nodule, changing the voice, sometimes a little hoarse, or thyroid swollen up, constipation, and joint achiness, swollen on the feet and legs. For ladies, they sometimes complain about heavy menstrual bleeding or irregular menstrual cycle. If you have what I said before, that means your thyroid maybe have some trouble. How do I know if I have thyroid problems? You have major three ways to check it. If you find out your big toes is colder than the rest of your toes, that means your thyroid already has some trouble. Or thyroid hormone control our basal body temperature. When we wake up, if you find out your body temperature lower than 96, even lower than 95, that already indicates your thyroid function is not that great. Otherwise, you also can check your primary care to some blood test to test your TSH level and the T4 level to see if your thyroid function is still okay. In a clinic, I found out a lot of people even blood test is normal, but their basal body temperature and big of toes already colder. That already indicate your thyroid already has some trouble. To prevent your thyroid function getting much worse, and eventually you need to take a lot of the treatments or medicines. At this moment, we already can help ourselves to prevent our thyroid gland getting worse. So how can we make thyroid be balanced? My teacher, Mr. Gu, tried to combine Taoist ancient exercise as a functional exercise to recreate our thyroid function normal. We are going to reveal secret today to help all of you to improve your thyroid functions. In my clinic, I already using it on the thyroid clients. They all got very good results. Originally could be hypothyroidism, now back to normal without any medications. Please try this and you will get benefit immediately. Now we are going to show you how can we balance our thyroid gland. Our thyroid gland controlled by two major things. Thinking about every organs in our body have the same way. First is a nerve. Pituitary gland sending out a signal to our thyroid. That's the connection to control they can release how much of the thyroid hormones. The next one, they need a nutrient from the blood circulations. If they have a healthy blood circulation coming to the thyroid, thyroid can function better. In the clinic, I found out a lot of people actually either as have the blockage of their microcirculation to the thyroid or their nerve system can be blocked. So if we can change these two problems, our body actually will become healthier. How do we do that? In the clinic, I find out on the neck, they have a lot of tightness between the vertebrate, especially from C3 to 5 area. You can find out either on the left or right side, they have a little bit tightness and tension. It's like a ligaments on there. If we can elongate our neck and find that tendon and open it up and loosen it up, it already help you the nerve systems be normal. If our nerve systems want to activate it and send a signal to your thyroid, but outside of the muscle is so dry and tight because lack of the blood circulation, the holding is so tight, what happened? This signal cannot come in through. That's why between that vertebrate, you can see a little small nodules in there. That's because they rubbing it up. As an oriental medicine, because we can use in the needle to needle that area, to bring the blood circulation to local area and then release the muscle tension, also helping the nerve to regulate it. This kind of function is bilateral means that if it's too high, they can be balanced. Too low, they can balance back. So that's why it's doing bilateral through the needle stimulation. But if I'm in the home, I don't have the person can help me or find an experienced acupuncturist to help me with that. What should I do? 
That's why we want to teach you how we can use an exercise to do almost the same effect. But if the result is not what you expect, please find an experienced acupuncturist or oriental medicine doctor using certain of the technique to help you massage, open up the nodules. So the nerve system can be opened and the circulation can go to locally so your thyroid function will be normal. Now we are going to show you how we do that. The first exercise is try to open up our neck and trapezium muscle areas tightness. Therefore, the first movement we want to do is relax this muscle around our neck. So what we do that is we holding our jaw, make it stabilize, using back of our hand to pull our neck up like this. Through the very gentle stretch for almost like 30 seconds to a minute, you will help your muscle stretching up. In the beginning, because so tight, so your muscle is not easy to move. After you doing for 30 seconds, you will find out your muscle movement is getting better and better. Why this is happening? Because the blood circulation can start to go in here. Thinking about if you have a muscles doesn't have a lot of blood there, it can become very dry and tight. Now you have blood circulation go there to nourishing it. Gradually with the gentle movement, what happened? The fiber get enough nutrient and also the blood circulations helping you loosen up. So your muscle will regain the flexibility. It is very important to stretching our neck in the before we start in taking care of our thyroid gland. So after the 30 minutes of pulling up our neck, try to doing it. Make sure you elongate your spine, the crown of the head up, and you really using your hand, pull it up, your neck. If it's getting tired, you can switch to the other side. After we're doing this massage, you want to do is put both your hands under your neck. You want to stretch your neck to left and right to help you relax muscle even more. So you can drop off your elbow, not only just using your hand, push against your head to stretch your neck, but also can elongate your spine, lift up your body, using your hand, push a little more, stretching out your neck. Make sure when you do this, your chin tuck in. You don't want to do this wrong way because that's only working on upper of your neck, not all your neck muscle. If you drop your elbow down, you will do is tuck your chin in a little bit, elongate your spine, crown of your head up, you lift up your neck and body by moving up your muscle up, elongate your spine, stretch your neck a little more. And we can do that for 30 seconds. If you find out your neck is very tight when you're doing this, you will find out a, a warmness of the blood circulation coming out to your head. That means you are doing it correctly. The next one we are going to work in on our thyroid gland. First, we can put both hands together and rub it in until it's getting warm. Our palm is energy projecting out. So you can put both hands on the thyroid area. Thyroid is just where our neck in the center, it looks like a butterfly here. So you cuff them up and you rub in on it. After you're doing this for a few seconds, you want to hold in your hand there, using your hand, center of the palm, projecting energy to give the warmness and energy to your thyroid gland. So in locally, you, because it's getting warmer, so you have the circulation to your thyroid gland. At the same time, we will also want to elongate our spine and bouncing up and down on the chair for 30 seconds. It looks like this way. Make sure the crown of head up. This exercise is helping you reconnecting your spine and the nerve systems because we're already losing it up. And at the same time, we're stretching the muscle and also helping the nerve system connecting to the thyroid glands. So now you have the good circulation to the thyroid and also open up your neck area so the nerve can easily go in. So our thyroid can produce a hormone normally now. No matter it's hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism, as long as our thyroid have enough blood circulation to supply it, also have regular nerve stimulations, our body can regulate it to become normal. Hope you are getting more healthier. If you find out my video is helping you, please leave some of the feedback on the comment area. 
please like us, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. I will share you more in the future. Goodbye.